Here we are at Aintree again, and once more Hitler's had to put off his blitzkrieg. The only signs of war are the air raid shelters and lots of uniforms. The Navy is here, and there are service greatcoats over some of the jockeys' kit. The Army is represented among spectators and owners. Come into the paddock and have a last look at the favourite, with Dorothy Paget's Kill Star. Royal Danielli, he's already had a place in the National, and Private Gordon Roll is the wealthy owner of Tuck Mill. I think he's fond of him too. Another likely one is the Professor II, but still going round and round in a sort of route march is Private Gordon Rowe. Is that horse of his called Tuck Mill or Treadmill? Now the jockey's mounted, it's getting close to three o'clock as they go out of the paddock for the parade. Private Rowe will not be on parade, he's confined to paddocks. Here's McMuffet with eye order up. He's evidently fancied by the army. All these horses look so good it's hard to spot the winner. You've got your finger in the way. Dramatic seconds are ticking off one by one and we're all set to go. All the way to a good start. Royal Danielli, Corn Law, Rockwiller, Gold Arrow, McMuffet, well placed. Coming up to the first jump, there's nothing in it between the leaders. They all get over safely. Third jump, Royal Danielli running strongly in the lead. Rockwiller second on the far side, then McMuffet. Gold Arrow among the leaders and they're all over. Coming up to the fifth jump, there's no change in the leadership and no falls. Now to the mighty Beecher's Brook. Royal Danielli and McMuffet leading, but there's a dozen going well. They all come over this terrific jump, safe and sound. Follow round now to the canal turn. McMuffet nearest the camera going level with Royal Danielli and Gold Arrow in the first flight. turn, all over safely and all going strong though the pace is a hot one. Riding and jumping are having a superb day out today. Coming to Valentine's, Danielli and McMuffet are still leading. Slow motion at Valentine's, McMuffet on the near side, Danielli up with him, Rockwilla third, then Venturesome Knight and then Luxborough, then Lord Derby's under bid. Muffet on the near side leading from Royal Danielli. Gold Arrow third, Raquilla fourth. Jump number 14, Royal Danielli and McMuffet still sharing the lead. This is getting monotonous. No, it isn't. There's National Knight, jockey down, but National Knight goes on. You'll see him later. They're coming to the water jump. Danielli and McMuffet over together with Gold Arrow close by. All over the water safely. Now they're coming round to start the second circuit. McMuffet leading, Royal Danielli a neck behind and Gold Arrow just behind on the rail. This pace is a cracker. Second time jumps it, still McMuffet and Royal Danielli leading. Gold Arrow up with Rockwilla. That loose horse is National Knight. By this time you know who's in front, but second from the right over the fence now, that's Boxcar. This is where Litigan comes down with a heavy crash. Beaches for the second time, same order for the leaders. Now it's the turn of Red Freeman to come down. Going towards the canal turn, McMuffet and Royal Danielli. Those two horses must be stuck together. Canal, McMuffet leading. Riderless horse runs in front of Royal Danielli. He's come unstuck. That's Boxcar on the right. And this is where Boyo takes an ugly toss. Muffet in the lead at Valentine's. Gold Arrow has come into second place with Professor the Second next. Royal Danielli has dropped back.
coming round to the last two jumps, McMuffet leads from Gold Arrow and Professor the second. Last jump but one. Royal Danny Elliott's failed and now he's down. He had a grand try. Boxcar's come up with the leaders. The last jump, McMuffet just has the lead from Boxcar. Coming through into the straight, that's Boxcar on the rails. Riderless National Knight with him and then McMuffet. He's had a grand try too. He's already been second here once. But Boxcar's been lying comfortably back of the leaders and now Mervyn Jones brings him up with a burst of speed. Like a spitfire. The grand national winner in 1940 is Boxcar. Well, that's most peculiar. Whoever would think of backing a horse with a name like that? Still, it was a great victory. The jockey was Sergeant Jones of the Royal Air Force. No wonder he came within a fifth of a second of the record time. Well done!